Okay, this is a video of my uh, on-demand electric hot water heater. This button here turns it on and off. You can change your temperature and go up as high as 140 degrees on this model here. Usually when I take a shower I got it set at 105 and then I turn it up to 120 for the dishwasher. When it's running the digital readout comes on and and lights up at what temperature you've got it at. Okay. Now I have a geothermal furnace that uh, has a desuperheater on it. That down here, this blue line is coming from the desuperheater on the furnace, and heats heats water using the excess heat from the compressor when it's running uh, to help you save on your water bill. Even if you don't have an on-demand heater, it helps raise the water temperature 10 to well 10 to 12 degrees in your uh, in your electric or gas water heater <clears throat> now you can see I got the gas disconnected on here and I'm using an old water tank this is a 40 gallon gas water heater because I live on a, cr in a, cr a house with a crawl space my water heater is in the living area where you know the temperature is like 70 72 degrees so this particular model Echo Smart water heater um, normally would need a 67 degree intake water temperature to operate the way they designed it. So if I was taking water right from the city water line here I'd probably only have like 58 degrees which would be would not be what you what you'd want but because of the because of using a tank here and the superheater that brings my water temp temperature up to where it's acceptable to use this model uh, this is a echo smart 11 now it was really easy to hook up I just took the line here that used to go to the water from the water heater and ran it through the heater um, I've had this on now for I think it was maybe last fall when I hooked it up so it's it's been running all winter and I'm real happy with it now I don't have a 200 amp service if I had a 200 amp service I think I would would move up to the next the next model up um, this one runs on a 160 amp breaker um, the, the next model up takes takes 240s now the nice thing about this is you have hot water as long as you want it because it's heating it instantly as you use it um, and I think I read that they're 60 percent more efficient than a regular water heater and I did notice that um, it seemed like my water usage went down and my my electric bill didn't go up any it might even went down a little bit I have solar panels anyway so that's not really a big deal but um, uh, this is the way to go plus the size just look at the difference in size compared to a regular water heater I mean you could mount this you know right next to the sink or under this under your sink in the bathroom or in the kitchen you could actually have two of these if you want which that's another thing I thought about was maybe just buying another one and putting it right in the bathroom um, anyway I think I got this for I think they sell for around 225 dollars so I mean the price is right. It does have a setup for a remote control, uh, but it's a hardwired remote control. So you can take the remote control and have your digital readout right in the bathroom uh, adjustable so that you could adjust it right before you got in the shower. I I don't really mind. My house is small. I walk over here and like I said I usually check and see if I got it on, set it at 105 for shower or, or if it's still on 120 or 125 to, you know, to be hot enough for the dishwasher. Um, I did have to put flow control uh, filters, you know, well, I think that's what they call them, the, the little screens on the faucets to slow the, slow the water speed down a little bit. Um, I could also adjust it with, with this ball valve here just turned down a little bit. Um, anyway, just thought I'd show that in case anybody's never thought about using one of these. You know, it's, it's a lot cheaper than going with an on-demand gas 
um, gas heater. Those are still pretty expensive yet. Now the other thing that's really nice nowadays is uh, I got rid of my gas meter when I got unhooked from this gas water heater. So that saved me $9.30 a month in facilities charge, fixed charges. So even if the electric bill went up a little bit, you save that much, you know, that you were paying to the power company. Um, also, I no longer have to worry about any carbon dioxide or anything because the geothermal furnace doesn't have any combustibles in it. And now the water here, this electric on demand water here doesn't have any, any combustibles. And I, I had a fireplace, but I changed that over to an electric fireplace. So I, my chimneys are capped right off. Uh, it makes the house a little better insulated and uh, anyway like I said this is this is really a nice way to go in case anybody wants to do that like I said depending on where you live if you're in a warmer climate like you know down south or something this this model is is just fine for actually for a whole house water heater um, if you've got uh, more people using using like say the shower and the kitchen sink on the dishwasher or whatever at the same time I don't think you'd have to use the dishwasher but then like I said then you'd want to go up to a one of their larger models but real happy so far it's been holding up just fine that's it